Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 18. Uh, here we are stuck in part 2 of our convoy defense, which has not gone well. Uh, we have already lost, I believe, the number of sh transports that we need to effectively lose the transport defense aspect of the mission. This is not really a surprise, we are just insanely outnumbered. We kind of expect to be playing as Japan against the combined navies of the Russians and the British, but you know, it's always the battle generator, the god of this universe, which determines what you're going to get. And it can give you even fights and it can give you really, really lopsided fights, both in both directions. So it's been a mystery to me from the very, 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 very first time I started playing World of Waves 1 how the battle generator generator works and i've i've done a little bit of like thinking about how i could make a better battle generator as you know i mean for, there's no point okay that's not true there is a point complaining about a problem but if you have a means to maybe present a a solution or a suggestion for a solution usually seems a little bit more helpful than just complaining uh that all aside let's get into this battle let's get back into it so our only hope of a victory in this um, in this battle is to somehow sink a battle cruiser. That would tip it in our favor, I think. It may not. I think it's eighty thousand for the the objective. Um, this battle generator was particularly harsh because we didn't even have a chance to lead off the British forces. They arrived at the transports before we did. So we'll do our best, but. Uh, you know, it's pretty unlikely that... Ooh, wow, we're off to a horrible first start. Let's hope that we are able to maintain our destroyer division here. So I think the one um, way we might get lucky is if we... We might want to even use the transports as bait since we're already going to lose that, you know, objective. What, what if I double back with my battle cruisers, swing them east to south, move my destroyers east... If the British battle cruisers take the bait and head east, or even better, southeast, that's when I move my destroyers in. The only problem is that the whole time these destroyers won't be hidden, they won't be out of sight, they'll be very vulnerable to fire. I do like the idea of keeping them um, a little bit below their maximum speed. But they're not going to be able to catch up to the Swiftster now, which I think herself has a 20, no, 26, okay. Yeah, and I did look up this ship. Um, I looked it up in the actual game folder, the design. You could just open it with any text editor. It does not have all or nothing armor. Um, it's just, it's just a, an anomaly. It seems, uh, it seems like it's an anomaly. So, it's a fast ship, with uh, without sacrificing <laughs> any of the weight needed for armor or anything else. It's just. Anyway, we'll say no for this. Merchants are going to have to swim in the water for a bit. We'll fish them out at the end of the battle, assuming we win. Um, we were doing, I think, okay, at least against the Naid class. So my hope is that we can still... Let's see. Do we want to just lead them away? I guess we want to lead them away from the transports and then turn south into the destroyers. Kind of like... Can we get lucky? The bonsai has reattached. How how brave of her. Don't think that that's going to keep for long. Swiftshire is going pretty slow. But yeah, we already know what's going to happen. She's going to turn away. And she will obviously just run away from any attempt by our destroyers to get in on her. You guys are going squad max? Not quite. We'll take them up to 24. Yeah, I, the gaucho is like my... Oh man, the bonsai. Oh yeah, she attached, but we can just do her a favor and detach her. Yet again. We were doing okay, but it looks like the Gaucho's luck has run out. She's been hit twice in the last two minutes. 
I don't know what this merchant's doing. Is he trying to rescue my my destroyer? Bonsai is actually launching torpedoes. What a madman. The last of his torpedoes. Um, you know what? I think it is time for these this group to turn away. Do it slowly. And then turn back south. To the waiting arms of our destroyers. This wouldn't be a bad time for the Gaucho to also launch torpedoes. I think it might be in range. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? <clears throat> okay. It's been said that the computer does not dodge torpedoes. Frederick himself, the developer, has come out and said that his ships are agnostic or are, do not have torpedo information. So it's just a coincidence in this case that after I launched my torpedoes, they turn away. And maybe that turn back is all the proof we need. And I don't know. This is, this is dodgy. Dodgy evidence. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it could be a coincidence. It probably is. Oh! <laughs> it must be a coincidence, right? Because otherwise that wouldn't have happened. Well, I don't think a light cruiser is by itself enough to win us the day. I'm just going to go by 10 degrees. <clears throat> so that is a fantastic turn of events. I don't think I'm going to risk the destroyers going up against the light cruiser, despite the fact that it would be great to, to get that kill. Actually, we're fine in that direction. Um... But she's going to slow up. I mean, one torpedo... If one torpedo can sink my battle cruiser, one would hope that one torpedo can sink the light cruiser. So it is time for us to move in. <clears throat> Poor Bonsai is only getting pelted further for her heroic effort. And really, I think we'll just try to get her out of the scene as fast as possible. The Naid is definitely showing up, slowing up. Okay. So then it just comes down to whether or not, okay, Gouch is also hitting the Latona, which is good news. Our six inch guns are at least, you know, superior damage to their five inch guns or even the four inch guns. Yeah, we, maybe we shouldn't have been so worried about the Latona. She only has four inch guns. So we should be able to take her. Transports, we just want to make sure that we don't don't return to them. So we might be playing out the long game here. All right, we'll take it. Well, those four-inch gun shells, now that I remember she's only at four inches, that's a lot less threatening. I think we're gonna have to pick up the speed here to catch our friends. Like, Gaucho at any point in time can just run in and try to finish off the Naid, but I want, if I can, to get the Lotona as well. Perhaps a little bit greedy. Bonsai has limited flooding and has controlled her... Pro oh, this is perfect. Let's just go down and hide in that island. Two knots is all you need to do. Just get out of here. Tona hit. Good. Exchanging fire. Four-inch guns. Light guns. Goucher's launching torpedoes again. At whom? I uh, don't understand this. So th maybe this already speaks to something. We have no solution on the Latona. Oh, okay. So we th we definitely fired our torpedoes at the Naid then. Because it says out of arc. Start this is starboard side. They're both out of arc. It shows you the priority of reporting, though. The Gaucho first reports that... 
Um, <clears throat> she first reports whether or not it's a solution, and then she reports if it's out of arc. Yeah, we're, we're learning a little bit more here and there. And if that does not hit, she turned off. You say that they don't know when you're launching torpedoes, but I am still a little bit skeptical of that. They seem to perfectly dodge torpedoes. Well, I mean, I guess the Naid wouldn't have been hit if she hadn't have not dodged. So there's always that argument. Interesting for me, it's gonna hold water. Okay, let's see how we doing here. Are we getting closer to closing? And of course the important thing is to keep them away from the transports. So once we've battered the Latona a little bit more, if possible, we will go back and look for the Naid. Yeah, these lines are converging. Turn these guys on no torpedo launch for now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Naid now. It's already time. Mm, we're getting in nicely. They're gonna have an easy time turning away to the north. Unless we can try to force the British a little bit further south in their turn. Is she swinging around? She is. I mean, if we can sink a Naid, that would already be good times for me. Ah, well, I guess it's time, huh? Temperamental engines. Well, Raku, Raiku, you've picked possibly the worst moment to have engine problems. I guess it would have been perhaps slightly worse if you had chosen the time in about 10 more minutes when you're trying to escape, but... All right, we are holding fire on those torpedoes. Getting closer. It's the the traditional bonsai attack, the Tortogo bonsai attack. We're nose on. Make your move, Swifter. Make your move, or I will. She's just gonna let it happen. Okay. Well, her reactions to my presence have been less than amazing. Let's see what we can do about it. We're actually out of arc with the lead. That's just how fast we're closing. But we should have open shots from all the other ones. And I am suspecting some of these will get through. Actually, I'll turn back in. Okay, one hit. Let's get the right coup to launch again. Oh, wow, she's actually bereft of torpedoes. It's kind of a bad angle. Let me say cease fire, let's move in. And let's, let's see, if we can get one more hit, which I don't think we will, but if we can get one more hit. Oh, we got another hit. We got two more hits. So if we can get one more hit, oh, what the hell was this? We can get one more hit. I think that we will have sunk her. And uh, hold on, just give me a second here. I'm so, I'm doing the geometry in my head and all that, but holy cow, three hits on our torpedoes. We should be just, ex just very excited about this. Overjoyed with the, obviously the prospects of, ah, oh, almost. Okay, 
Well, let's get out of here. First of all, first of all, pour on the smoke. Let me just see what the squad max is before overriding it. Make the best speed you can. Here comes the Amazon classes. Hopefully too late. Oh, is she already done? She, She's already down. We're going to hold on to our torpedoes, get the hell out of here. And circle back north. We are now still chasing off the Naid class. Okay, this is this is it. So deploy smoke and get out of here. We are holding torpedo fire and that's actually perfectly okay, isn't it? So make all due speed on out of here. And they're they're reacting to go to the south. That's that's fine. It feels I look at I, I have to say I'm not I'm not so exhilarated just because it was such a cheap victory. They didn't turn, they didn't maneuver, they just let our destroyers come right at them. I don't want to sap the fun. I mean, it was awesome. A great charge from our destroyers, who, by some miracle, may even get out alive, which is, you know, a miracle. Nothing short of a miracle. Nonetheless, it's, you know, it's a, it would have been, a, you know, the more, look at the maneuver I did against the British in the previous war, where we had three destroyers coming in from all angles, that was fun. That was like, you know, you had to work for that one. This was uh, more AI than anything else. So we'll take it, but you know, not quite as satisfying. Okay, we got the naive back in our gun sights. Okay, by the way, now that one of those battle cruisers has been sunk, let's take a look at what remains. Houghton is doable, the Remnick is less doable. Okay. You know, probably if it was just those two, we'd be okay, but I mean, just, you know, what is it? Quantity is a quality all of its own. We're kind of facing that situation. They have ships which are one on one better than ours, but then they also have more of them, which makes it just very, very difficult. Bonsai is actually going to make it out of here. <laughs> okay, go back. Let's reform. Split down to 20. Start moving in. I want to stay in sight so that they keep going north and not south. I want them to pursue me. Just as we straddled the target I turned, which was, you know, not ideal. I think we can turn off our smoke now. Okay, now that I guess the battle is going to focus on the, the light cruiser showdown here. So we might choose, we might actually lose this battle in terms of victory points. I don't think so with the battle cruiser down, but if we were to, I would still, I would still take this trade because we're we're trading victory points for strategic points. Ah, there we go, got her. We won't. We will not adjust that course. What? What kind of flag did you see, my dear, my dear friend? That would cause you to. Oh well. Looks like. Turns out another bug. Line of breast still allows everyone else to follow your original orders. Okay. We'll slow down to twenty, and we'll start curling over to the west. Bonsai, let me have it. Ah, okay, I can do this myself. Four, hooray! Real progress. All right, we had two more hits. Yeah, well, no kidding. So this is the good news. They are pursuing here, not heading for our transports. Oh God! If we end up losing this fight after she took a torpedo. I will go ballistic. But at least we got a kill on our on the battle cruiser. Just slow down to cruise because there's no point in wasting your engine speed when you're going around in circles. <clears throat> oh, rudder's repaired. I think we might as well close in. Like how much ammunition do you have? Hold your fire. Let me get close, and then we'll figure out what we want to do from there. 
Yeah, you have correctly assumed your roll. Couch is getting pelted here. Notice I did not hit continuous movement. I don't know what's going on. Did I? I thought I hit space bar. Maybe I'm going crazy. So if these guys choose to come in and... Oh, it's one of those where I, I can't even control you now. Ah. Okay, actually a good thing that she's been detached. So we can get control back. <laughs> we'll wait for the others to also have that same situation. So let's actually deploy smoke and close the gap. I guess if we want to end this battle, we just go east around this island. And I don't think the AI will react well. You know, this they, this started an early day. Um, it's not likely that it'll get to nighttime before the battle ends. Okay, that's good. We're basically withdrawing over there. We're withdrawing here. Got to a near miss. I think she's closed. Okay, this is enough. <clears throat> Let's pull up on the broadside. Stop deploying smoke. Train your guns and get to work. We took a hit. I'm expecting good things though. Any moment now. Oh God, stop with the how do you get your signals, confused? There's nobody giving you signals. It's me. <laughs> There's nobody in range. <laughs> how do you get your signals confused? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is a good thing. We do want to get over to the other side. Target is straddled, so we're just waiting for those hits. But I, I'm, I'm willing to run this pretty hard hard in order to try to get the victory here. <clears throat> I'm willing to push the gaucho nearly to the point of sinking, especially if you know this ends up being, gosh, it's just getting hit though. I need to be careful only about torpedoes. Oh, hey, that was the good one. Two hits. Three. Okay, well, I wanted to ride that stroke of good luck for a little bit. Gaucho's on fire. She has some interesting habits. Lots of penetrating hits. Oh, they are pursuing. Well, I mean, hey, that's a good thing in one way. Are you back under my control? You are! Hooray! My gosh, it's just getting ripped apart. I might have to just hope that the one torpedo sinks her. We know it won't. I was hoping, though, that all this pushing, like pushing her and forcing her to, you know, to just drive on faster and faster would increase her flooding. Maybe one of these hits, you know, gets lucky, increases flooding. We have no more. Okay, so we need to actually switch over to the starboard guns. There we go. <laughs> Funny how that works. Oh, yeah, two hits. And she's slowing down. Oh, they are. They did get back to the transports. Well, like I said, we'll, s we'll suffer a momentary defeat for the strategic victory. Really close in here. Yeah, either we are... Okay, there it is. All right, well, um, our top speed on this thing is not much. We'll slow her down even more, just send her north. Get these guys to cruise, cruise. 
and we'll wait for this battle to finish. They were smart enough to go back. Well, let's hope the bonsai gets out of there. Ah. I'm just making for this island. <laughs> yeah, well, those merchant ships, they knew what they were getting themselves into. As in, they are part of the Imperial Japanese Navy. So a state-run economy, you see. Um, given the fact that it is nighttime, if this battle continues much longer, we will send our destroyers back in. Of course. Okay, so it's considered a victory for Japan by an order of magnitude. They did not sink the 12th they needed. Wow. They didn't sink the six they needed, they sink the 12. How does that work? They lost some aircraft, which is always helpful. <laughs> this is why I don't have aircraft right now. They're more of a liability. <clears throat> so, um, net result though, let's take a look at this. Let's really absorb this. Our two extremely outclassed battle cruisers, our light cruiser and our five destroyers were able to soundly defeat. I mean, it was just poor decision making on the on the British side, but um, we destroyed one of their battle cruisers, one of their six battle cruisers, which is insane. We also destroyed their uh, one of their two light cruisers, the better one of the two, the naive class, which have been a thorn in our side. And we did that all without taking any damage to our battle cruisers and only taking, you know, heavy damage, very heavy damage, but only taking like serious damage to two vessels. So hopefully that will tighten things up a little bit. That's exactly the kind of thing we need if we want to break the blockade. And just to add insult to injury, more submarines are coming out. Even Russia is starting to collapse from that. The thing most remarkable to me is the fact that we don't have any friendly submarines being lost. Okay, Russia. Okay, so here we're back. Let me make sure the window is... This is nice. It gives me a second to breathe. I, I really... You know, um, that the one problem with the wars is that I love the strategic side of things. And the battles themselves are fun to fight, but I feel like I kind of like a situation like the Total War series where you can auto-resolve the battles. Obviously, and I would consider this game, Rule the Waves, very similar. I mean, not just because of the initials, but very similar in a lot of ways to like Rome Total War. Um, you have your, the strategic is supposed to be the big focus, the base, and then your battles are fun to fight based on the work you've put in on the strategic map. Now, uh, sometimes you just want to auto-resolve some battles. You don't want to fight battle after battle after battle. It's a little, wears you down, right? Well, it wears me down, probably because I micromanage so so much, but it's funny, the, the excuse me, so sorry, about the microphone. The battles I don't micromanage on, I get these, you know, plenty of people in the comments just second guessing every little move I did, and uh, it's not—it's probably not the same people who are, you know, saying, "Please, don't go into such detail in the battles." It's just different, different folks, different strokes for different folks. But some people do prefer that detail, and some people don't. Can't can't please them all. Okay, so we're still blockaded, but is that going to continue? Oh, it is. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, our Dreadnought actually did make it into Northeast Asia, but we're, our points are down to 83. We don't have anybody raiding, do we? No, why are our points down to 30 or 83? Refit 1918, that's fine. We may even need some more of these. How many do we have? 29 out of 19. Um, that's a 50% more than we need. That's probably about the ratio I want, which means we will need more, but not for this war, for the next one. Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, 
We stand a chance of being invaded there. I think somebody mentioned that I'm not currently invading Way Highway. I don't have a target. Um, that only works for the invasion aspect. We have already invaded, so it doesn't, um, it, it would only, I don't even know if we can choose this as an invasion target. Yeah, we cannot. Okay. It would just waste money even if you could. Because invasion planning is very expensive. It's like 1.6. I don't know. I'd, it's it's over, um, it's over a thousand in terms of this money, which I think is, should be multiplied by a hundred or maybe more. Okay, uh, so next turn, I, I'm like reluctant because I know then I'm gonna get into a battle. <laughs> I don't, don't want to. I don't want to fight, this is where my simulator comes in. <laughs> um, we have money. We don't have oil firing yet, I don't think. Enables oil firing. We do. Sorry, we do, we do, we do. Do we have torpedo defense? We have no. We only have tor t torpedo protection one. Arr. Yeah, well, we can't build a super dreadnought. Okay, fleet battle. This is... That's not what I wanted to see. I mean, they're bringing real, real dreadnoughts, and we're bringing our pea shooter battle cruisers and our pre dreadnought battleships. With only the Otago being somewhat of a modern design. This is bad. <laughs> this is very bad. Well, destroyers to the rescue again. It's midday. Got a long time to survive. Or we could just pull into port. I think we'll just do that. As soon as we can, we'll make our way to port. Hmm, keeping us locked for quite a while. There it is. Okay. Um, Windside is to the east anyway, so it's going to be to our benefit to move east. Get up to 20 with those guys. Don't know what these guys are doing. Oh, there's scouts for the battleships, I see. probably just avoid combat but if we do happen to get in combat we're that much closer to port we did actually we were able to rest from this situation at least the uh, the wind side of things I'm not sure I'm even going to engage this No, I can't really speed up. <laughs> like, look at the range on our guns, they're just not much. Yeah, but if I mean if, if we can force this battle over to the east, closer to our port, I'm okay with that. And we're not we're not gonna take the bait before then. Oh, it's a naive class. Well, she won't. She probably wants revenge. She's really needling close to that line. Where where are the max? Where is the max range of our guns? That's fine. Like I said, I'm willing to have this fight if we can have it on my terms. Enemy aircraft. Oh right. Right, they probably have a port here. 
Well, let's just look this distance. 120 nautical miles to the closest, I think, air base. I'm not worried about that. We're not going to have to fight anything. I don't think the torpedo bombers have that range yet. Or maybe around 100. The maximum extent of their range. Okay. There's the rest of their fleet. Unless that was a... Could that have been a carrier? An AV, maybe? Seaplane tender? Yeah, that's that's quite possible. Well, they know where we are. Oh my gosh. What a scary, scary minute. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't like this at all. Um, oh, there's port to the south. I think we're going to have to head south. Okay, well, let's see. We can head a little bit more east before making a decision. You guys have to make a decision a lot quicker. Wow, they were waiting for us. They knew where we were going. They put their battleships in the way of our port. And because their battle cruisers are so scary, I'm actually worried about even the the other ships we're identifying. Huh. Well, I'm gonna have to construct an airbase up here. It's obvious. We'll need an airbase for going up against the Russians. I just it's funny, I I don't usually fight that many battles up here. Even against even playing as the Japanese against the Russians, a lot of my battles took place over here. Um, I did that in the 1920s. The very first stream I ever did in this game, World of the Waves 2, upon like the release, was with the Russians. I mean, with the Japanese fighting the Russians. I think also the British. <laughs> it's always the same. <laughs> I don't have too much time left, so I don't think we're going to be able to finish this battle, despite my cowardly yellow tactics. Run away. But, I mean... I don't really know what else I could do. I don't think we're going to be able to fight them. In fact, the worst thing is we're going to have to do something strange because our battleships don't have the speed to escape. What's your max speed? 21. Well, that's better than 19. I think these guys are at 19, yeah. <clears throat> so I think I'll let, let the battleships return to port. We need their strategic points. They're pretty heavily armored though, right? 12, 2. I mean, that's it's older armor, so it won't be as effective as newer 12-inch armor, but that's pretty thick armor. They do have a lot of quality 1 6-inch guns. 9 per side. Uh, I guess I'll leave them hanging out as a backup option. Europa class cruiser. So this is exactly the kind of thing my battle cruisers would love to go toe to toe with. If I wasn't so confident, there's battle cruisers, and you know, I'm certain that there's dreadnoughts in the area as well. Still, I guess it. I guess we have the speed to attempt to engage, and then break off. So we'll do it. That's probably the line I don't want to encounter. The Europa is no, no fool. She's breaking off right away. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to have to leave this until the next episode, though. I, I mean, if I do any kind of real fighting, it certainly is not going to last. Uh, it certainly is not going to finish in this turn. So I'll wrap this one up here. Um, we'll see how I want to handle this. Maybe even a little bit of time to consider it off camera will be a good thing. <sighs> I don't know. Um, okay, so in the future, I do want some aircraft. I want, some, I want an aircraft base at... I, I don't know how to say this, but... Wakanai. 
think that's the best place to have it because it's closest to Sakhalin Island, which we want to contest and hopefully take. <laughs> it seems like it would have um, an effect even against the ports of, oh yeah, Vladivostok, oh my goodness. Hmm. Okay, but until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.